Hey, Bob. Hey, Dan. So, uh, what's this? I think you can read that. Not terribly well. Yadagarasu? Attack on Cataclysm. Yadagaras. Attack on Cataclysm. It's a game that you backed on, what was it, Indiegogo? Yeah, I think this was an Indiegogo, not Kickstarter. Uh, and it is fighting game. Yes. It's funny, they're, uh, they're showing some characters that aren't even in this alpha build yet. Ah. Is, are they calling it alpha or beta? They're calling this one the alpha. Oh, okay. Uh, they're letting lower range backers like me join the alpha, but not the beta. Huh. Yeah. Because there was a higher level that was like 40 bucks to get the beta. Oh, okay. And then they're just like, hey, last minute, here you go. You guys, let's try the alpha. And they probably Damn. just felt bad because they were supposed to release this game like fully in February. <laughs> yeah. Well, in any case, let's get in and get that uh, one get, second. Get it hacking on that cataclysm. Strike while the iron is hot. Make use of the brain and tools. All the way at the bottom. Wow. You think it's like random information about the developer, but no, nope. it's insanity. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Wait, one second. We got to let that roll to that thing. It says some pretty choice stuff. It does. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> yeah, that's what we did. Uh-huh. <laughs> By waiting on the title screen. <laughs> all right. This guy all the way over here is not done at all. But we'll show him off, because, you know, let's do that. Well, maybe we want to show them, like, how the game should play before we show them random dude who's not done. Look, man, I can't go back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so we're shooting one round like this. He's playable. He just, Those like, are two different Dantra. characters that are blatantly the same. Yeah, they just have to change that head in different moves. That's really funny. Yeah, they, they seem to be uh, th those two and another two that are very similar. Huh. They're both the Ryu Ken situation, I guess. <laughs> Round one, fight. Okay, so I'm player one here and Bob's uh, player two. So how is he not done? Uh oh, yeah. Wait, do that low one again? A lot of things just <laughs> are... Uh, you go like another world there for a second. Yeah, it's really interesting to see. I've never seen um, an un incomplete art like this for a fighting game of this nature. We, I'm so used to the Skullgirls, Skullgirls where their art's digital, so you generally just get storyboard looking stuff, and this not is... weird pixelated blobs without detail. Right? That's cool. It is pretty crazy looking. Well, let's do this. Yeah, let's... So this is a King Beat of Fighters up, style, where you got the four attack buttons, low punch, heavy punch. Yeah. Light punch, heavy punch. Light punch, heavy punch. Light, light, kick. Punch, light kick, heavy, heavy kick. kick. Uh, and it's actually made by some of the people who worked on the old King of Fighters. Oh, okay. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Ah! I got, I got some pretty King of Fighters moves there. Being rock. Yes. Ah! Damn. It is so cool to see you in that, like, not done version. It would be neat if they had, like, that as a costume. Yeah, that'd be kind of neat to get on everybody. I no, got just that guy. Just that guy? <laughs> just that guy. Whoa, that was pretty crazy. But yeah, there's this interesting, like, charge attack whenever you hit uh, the, the heavies together. It doesn't block like uh, focus attacks in Street Fighter 4 do. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. It was fine. cool. Ruined my shoes that aren't detailed. Okay. Foo foo foo. foo, -foo, -foo. <laughs> I'm gonna play as one of these sword girls. I guess we haven't talked about the weird Japanese dudes. Yeah, those, uh... Us... They're, uh, actual announcers that'll commentate the match. Are they, like, in real life actual yes, announcers? Yes, they are in real life actual announcers. We're getting some American ones for the, uh... The full release. Good. That was one of the Kickstarter goals they re reached. So, awesome. we'll get that. We'll... They'll speak speaking in English. <laughs> Also, there's a parrying system in this. Oh yeah, that's right, we haven't shown that off. So, uh, if you notice next to our character, uh, those are lighting up. That's for a light, and that's for a heavy, or actually high and low. Yeah, high and low. So, if I, if I punch at Bob here, one, two, three. Yeah, he can, one, two, three. Oh. One, two, three. One, two, three. There. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, he it's, can do that. It's good stuff, right? Yeah, there, there oh. was one of the announcers jumping in and saying, hey. It's not done. <laughs> he said, hey, it's not done? He's not done is what he said. No, okay. I thought it was like he was commentating the game. <laughs> this isn't done. This really... Man, that looks like shit. <laughs> So yeah, there's also this character is like all charged attack, which is kind of unexpected for a sword user. Yeah, uh, I, I think I've seen that in some of the weird fighters we play. Probably. the The other one is not a charged attack character though, so it did oh, have that okay. variety. Well, that's that's good that they look that similar and they're in like and they principally different. Right. So I feel like we're listening to the Japanese version of '90s rock. It found, yeah. kind of sounds like a zebra head a little. Because <laughs> it, it has a bit of a darker moment, and then it goes to really high-pitched male singing. Uh, for a point of reference for anyone who's uh, played it, Sonic 2000, Sonic the Hedgehog 2006 had a theme by Zebra Head. Huh. So, you know, that was the best part of that game. <laughs> but yeah, this guy and... Her boobs are expanding. <laughs> Look, man. Tori Hanzo is just, is that good? Is that, I guess it says Hanzo. Yeah, it's her name. I don't know if it's like some weird reincarnation or what Actually, is going on. Actually, it takes a weirdly it. long amount of time for the name to pop up when you roll over them. That's huh. weird. You I, think you would want it to pop up sooner so people could get used to the names of people they haven't played as. Right. But that's what this screen's for. My narrator's gonna beat up your narrator. <laughs> he is. <laughs> Media attack! <laughs> also, we can uh, hit both of the. Also, uh, I can do this. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, that's. Good job. It's crazy. Oh, I, what were you gonna say? I, you Very can. Uh, Spider Woman. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, uh. Uh, you can hit both uh, punches at the same time. They'll do a little oh, jump yeah, forward to attack. do that little leap, and that is a tiny, tiny attack. You yeah. can't really tell with my person because it's my knee. But yeah, I, I guess hop attacks are used enough in a uh, fighting game tournaments that I should expect that. Yeah, uh, it is really neat when games have that. I'm trying to remember the last fighter I played that did. Uh, it's killing me. Oh, jeez. See, I kept trying just to because of my little leap there, I was able to hit high on you. I, I was actually just trying to uh, parry the whole time. <laughs> well, that still made it more difficult for you to parry, because you can't spam both parries, I don't think. Oh. Also, this game doesn't have a command list in it yet, so it's hard to know, know the moves. Yes. I actually find that neat. I, I think it was uh, Skullgirls who originally launched without any sort of move list, and you had to look it up on their site. Right. Uh, I, I actually really like that. I, I know not everyone does. In fact, Bob doesn't. Yeah, uh, I, I do not like that at all. It, it simulates that arcade feel. Besides, you're not losing a quarter each time here. It's true. So what we should do, since this is a uh, 640 by 480 resolution game, we should make little overlays for your TV, Bob. Yeah. Stick it over the black bars, and they'll have like three moves each <laughs> for each character, and it'll be tiny, and you can't read it. And then you get the true arcade experience. Wow, I was actually, uh, I went straight to uh, flying shooter mode, like, yeah, little pictures. Pictures of the ship, and then the other one's like some anime maker. I don't know, man. <laughs> wow. Yeah, no, uh, arcade machines back in the day used to have little tiny, like, this is how you do super moves. I, I'm used to those being on the, uh, the pad itself, like, right by your joystick. They do that too, yeah. Yeah. Please do as my sister says. Uga. <laughs> uh, I need to play as Hanzo, because there's own move I found. I thought it was pretty cool. I don't think we've used, uh, Chatha. No, I don't think so, so either. <laughs> Giga Death Pressure! <laughs> Death Pressure? <laughs> Shit, that sounds like a show. <laughs> I'd watch it. Giga... Gigaboots.com presents Giga Death Fresh. <laughs> I guess we can uh, actually select the stage we haven't been to. I don't think we've been there. No. Let's go there. We could be wrong, but. Yeah. Kokujin approves of Giga Death Pressure. <laughs> I feel like their sayings should be way more hype. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping that the, whoever they get for the American one is. <laughs> Giga Impact. <laughs> Shit, they should just fucking get. They should just fucking get Mike Z. If they don't, kidding. you're right. I Boom! Power Bomb is the same as every grappler! Do this! Gun show! 
<laughs> Let me show off this this other this move I found. Okay. I mean that is why they're seeing that character again, I presume. Right. But yeah, most of her moves are not hold or charge moves, but uh, this one was. There it is. It's a grab. That's it's a, a grab. charm. Yeah, it's just straight up uh, Izuna drop, and I was like, "What? That's crazy." That's my Izuna drop. <laughs> it does have a lot more spinning and damage. <laughs> that's great. That was just my triangle. Oh yeah, that's something we should definitely note. Uh, we're playing with two PS4 controllers, and it's absolutely fine. Yeah, it just worked right off the bat. Thunder. Oh no. King of Death. I like the comma instead of a period. <laughs> God, so swole. And so, are we getting an English dub for this? I don't think so. Oh, that's no. unfortunate. Yeah. You think someone out there would do a cheap dub, <laughs> right? <laughs> we will not interfere. You are on a, or we are on a strict timetable. You will not interfere. Have uh, we shown Ko? I don't think so. Have we shown uh, him? Did you play some rather? I think I did. He shoots energy beams, right? Yeah, pretty sure. Uh huh. I don't think we showed oh, headband. Oh yeah, we didn't dude. show headband dude. Or I was talking Band about bandana dude. Yeah, though. that's bandana. That's do rag man. I'm uh, pretty sure you started out as headband dude with the punches. Did I? Okay. I do like him, so that makes sense. Did you hit that? I didn't hit that. Did you? I. To the best of my knowledge, no. Huh. I don't. Maybe this R2 button's so sensitive that touching the underside does things. Maybe. I haven't really played as this guy before, so I'm not sure. Fire! Huh. Oh, Ooh, and spin kicks! Ha <laughs> ha! I actually pulled off a parry. Crazy. Yeah, so crazy that I did it right after you did, just to show you how not crazy it was. I'm so sugoi. Hooah! And I was gonna kick you with the spinny kick, but uh -huh. yeah. you, oh, that's what you're you, gonna, the game took control away from me, so I couldn't be ultra amazing. It was unfortunate. Ow, ow, oh, ow, ow. Wow, that's cool. You're a cool dude. No, so much kung fu. So, uh, when did this come out? The, the alpha here. The alpha only came out maybe a week ago. Oh, okay. So we're a little behind. A little That's bit. okay. I, I don't it's... think there are going to be too many YouTubers. Oh, we can break guards. Oh my god. Let's do that again. That's incredible. But then it comes right back at, uh, like it comes right back. Can you attack me right, right then? Uh, well, yeah, a yeah, little, cause, but yeah, because if so, if they're just really spamming guards, yeah, you, you can, can do that, that and then, then you can do a super and really mess with them. Oh man, I didn't even think of that. That's great. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Prevents you from having to chip your uh, super on a dude who's turtling. You got a cool animation there. Now the interesting thing is this game actually uh, fully released. Well, not fully. Not the Attack on Cataclysm. The new Just version. the original. The original version came out like I want to say a year ago now, and yeah. And the Indiegogo was mostly just to get more exposure internationally and also get uh, these extra characters. Right. There's, I believe, gonna be two because they, they, there's the one that's all, are partially in here now, and then there's also the one from the uh, intro that we saw. Oh. Okay. Girl with the little knife. Yeah. It's unfortunate that you can hear the low-quality recording environment this was done in. <laughs> like, when she just yelled with the <laughs> thing, and you could hear the echo from the room. Hmm. Like, good, excellent, dojin. <laughs> so dojin. So dojin. <laughs> this announcer is great. She's like, she's the best thing since that person who wouldn't shut the fuck up in Street Fighter versus SNK or whatever. I was actually thinking of, since uh, Guilty Gear X2, because that was another one just like, wow, this is amazing. I'm trying to remember, did it, they say anything outside of the battles? Um, I don't think so. Oh, it was okay. just during the, when the battle first started. Um, do, do, do one, one the first. first. Let's rock. Yep. Yep. Which is pretty good, but we are on a strict timetable. Wow, it just, yeah, you, it, it just selected it has, yeah, everything. It has a countdown and it is sticking to it. Which is because this is an arcade game. Yep, this is totally an arcade game. Don't don't let them know that it didn't hit arcades. Because they'll be angry because they made King of Fighters. <laughs> this guy's got one attack where he like just punches the slightly above him, that thing. I'm not sure exactly what it does. I'm thinking it might be a grab. 
Well, maybe you should perform it on me. <laughs> Baka. Maybe you should jump up in my head. Maybe I would if you weren't up there. <sighs> that wasn't excessive. She has red panties. Now we all know. Okay. Thank you, game. Only in this color scene, though. Gasp, now I need to try them all? <laughs> this is important. We need to canonically solve what color panties she's wearing. This is important, just like her blood type. Oh, that was cool. Just a one-off hit. Oh, <laughs> shit. It's okay, because I'm on the ground. Yep. Good Ooh. super is good. I don't think that can hit you. Ow. Oh, there it goes. Ow. <laughs> She's, oh man, that just went straight through you a second ago. Oh yeah? Like at the tip, it just whiffs. See? Huh. Yeah. That's annoying as fuck. Yeah. I mean, sure, you're bouncing it, so that way I can't just break guards from a mile away, but then don't animate it that way. <laughs> Whip. Ah! Huh. <laughs> That's some good commentation. Yeah, it is. Commentation. Great. That's a thing, not commentary. <laughs> Comment. Wonder if they're arrows. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Nope. I'm just slicing. Oh, I just oh. Aro. <laughs> He's watching for throws. <laughs> That's a hilarious thing. So you want to throw it? <laughs> yeah, if we spam throws a lot, it'll just note that. That's amazing. <laughs> Damn, I was hoping to do my super at midair. Yeah? <laughs> Most civil servants That's uh, it. have red panties. And yes, and show them off. And, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so that's a uh, Yadagarasu. Uh, does this uh, have any other content? Um, not really. It basically just doesn't even have arcade mode for the alpha. They let you play online and do verses. That is it. Okay. Well, uh, thanks for checking out this quick play. We also did a quick play of the Mighty Number no. Nine beta, so uh, go check that out on Gigaboots. And if you like this shit, subscribe. Thank you. <laughs>